How's it going everybody, Mark here. So story time. Years and years ago, I've always thought about, it'd be cool to do like my own exhibit or have my own gallery or, but it just never, I don't know. I never thought that I would be able to do anything like that. Um, I've been to many galleries. I've been to uh, Ansel Adam Gallery, all, a bunch of his originals uh, 10 plus years ago. I was in like awe. Like being able to see his stuff, like, and seeing originals and, and negatives and all that stuff. Peter Lick, I've been to his galleries. It's insane. Like, his stuff is insane to see in person. And I've always wanted to kind of do my own thing, but, but when you think, like, oh, I can never do that, I can never do that. My wife's a painter. Um, she's had a gallery in college. I've always toyed around with the idea of uh, doing my own exhibit um with her and she's always like just do it just do it and i'm like well it's not that easy and then i just put it off just constantly just put it off it's just gonna be too hard and then i really started like thinking about it i'm like why why can't i do it why shouldn't i do it so i started looking around and i was like you know what i'm gonna do it not an exciting story but that's the story of how i manifested this whole host my own exhibit hopefully you guys can take some of the tips uh, that I learned along the way um, and apply it towards you hosting your own exhibit, uh, your own gallery, and maybe help you think outside the box a little bit. Location. I could not find a location that was cheap enough. I came across a, a spot in town. I really wanted to be in my local area. Um, I found a spot where they have wedding receptions um, and it was expensive. It was like $700 for three or four hours. And that was it. And that was just for the space. I mean, that was outrageous. And when I seen that number, I was like, man, it's it's not gonna happen. So then I started thinking like, well, can we, how can we work around this? How can we figure this out? So I have a friend in town who has her own yoga studio. It's hardwood floors, very clean, very simple. So I went out to dinner with her. We sat, we chatted for like three hours. And I threw this idea of, why don't we host an art show at your studio? It'll help us exhibit our artwork and it'll help promote the yoga studio. It's kind of a win-win for everybody. And she was like, let's do it. So I talked to Adam and I talked to my wife about displaying their artwork as well. And we're gonna have a joint exhibit. So three artists, one area, one night, invite all of our friends, family, locals, it's gonna be a great night. So thinking outside the box on the location really helped cut the costs drastically. So one of the big drawbacks about doing an art show in this yoga studio is we couldn't hang anything on the walls. So we just went on Amazon and we just purchased a bulk order of easels. Uh, they're all black. Very, they kind of set up like tent poles. Um, not the sturdiest by any means, but they definitely work and it ended up displaying really nice. So uh, apart from that, we, we had to look at, okay, so we got the space, the location out of the way. We don't have to worry about that anymore. And then we also had to think about, okay, we need food. What kind of food are we gonna get? We got like crackers, cheeses, uh, ham, turkey, salami, just easy finger foods. Um, we got veggie trays, we got cookies, we had drinks, sodas, waters. Um, hummus, we kind of had a little, a, a spread of everything. We also offered beer and wine. So, and that was at no cost. We, this was a free come hang out and enjoy the artwork. And what was really exciting to me is I released my Shades of Grey collection, um, which is now available on my website. What made the whole exhibit so stressful is my pieces didn't get here until the day of the exhibit. I went through a new company and a new company that I like really like. So I, I went through a new company. They, I did some test runs with them and they are awesome. And I was, you know, I was like, oh, four weeks out, I'm gonna go ahead and make my make my order. Um, they'll be here in plenty of time for the exhibit. So if anything's wrong, like a one day rush or a three day rush, a new a new piece to display. And I was on the edge of my seat for three weeks. Like, where is this stuff at? All right, I am on my way home. The mail should already have been like delivered. So now I'm like, 
worried. If it's not at my door, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. The exhibit's in four hours. And if my prints are here, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. They came. I want to cry so bad right now. Oh my God. I have been stressed out so much. Oh my God. I can't believe that came. All right. Um, for me, I just, I ordered, I went out of my realm and I ordered, you know, very kind of custom stuff and I should have known better. Yeah, everything got here the day of the exhibit and it just made everything more stressful. Um, but the pieces looked amazing. So it was definitely worth it. Would definitely recommend ordering your stuff months in advance, um, not the four weeks, three weeks that I did, um, just in case you have an issue like that and then you're just, your anxiety, like you're just stressed out. So We also kind of gave an incentive for people to want to come and to get there early. So we did a 10 person grab bag. So the first 10 people to get there and we all chipped in to make this grab bag. So what I did for mine, I printed off 10 photos that you can only get at the exhibit. So I just printed a little five by seven, signed, numbered, edition of 10, I matted. So you could only get that print of mine if you came to the exhibit. Even if you got there early and you didn't buy a piece of art, you got a piece of art. So we kind of try to, again, go that extra mile to give people, giving people that experience of an art show. But yeah, we, it ended up being a great turnout. We had a lot of fun. Um, we hosted for about four hours. So we spent about $500. That was for the carpet runway um, to help protect the floor. Food, utensils, plates, everything. Drinks, uh, beer and wine, um, ice, like we had, all those little tiny expensive, a dollar here, five dollars here, added up very, very quickly. But it was still cheaper than renting out the space for $700 down the street. I hope this really helps you think outside the box. Figure out a way to host your own exhibit and display your artwork. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing, and go support your local artists. And I'll see you guys in the next one.